Hey, welcome to another edition of Kyle Meredith with. It's the interview series presented by WFPK at WFPK.org, Consequence, and the Consequence Podcast Network. Thanks as always for making your way here. Check out the series. Uh, you know what to do? Like what you see, what you hear, hit that subscribe button. I, uh, I put out three new interviews every single week, new one every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So it's a great way to keep up with your favorite artists, discover some new ones, iTunes, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Podchaser, NPR, WFPK.org, uh, right here on YouTube for the video versions, really anywhere you get your podcast from, subscribe to Kyle Meredith with, and that's me, Kyle Meredith. Today, I get to talk with Charles Dance, uh, esteemed, legendary actor. Uh, of course, you know him from things like, um, uh, let's say, Game of Thrones, uh, Dracula Untold, Alien, uh, The Golden Child, The Sandman he was in recently. Uh, I I think my first time uh, being uh, aware of, of Charles was uh, Last Action Hero. What was that? Uh, 1993. So 30 years ago. Uh, in fact, anytime I see him, it's it's hard for me not to see uh, a glass eye with a little smiley face in it, as he did in the uh, in that uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. Uh, he's done plenty before then. He's done plenty after. His newest role is starring opposite Kiefer Sutherland in uh, Rabbit Hole on uh, Paramount Plus. Uh, and how to describe this? Uh, espionage is a part of it. Uh, conspiracy and conspiracy theories are a part of it. Lots of paranoia, lots of action, lots of twists and turn. Who did it? Who's alive? Who's dead? Are they dead? Are they not dead? Here they are again. Uh, it, it's it's like a magic trick, and it's so exciting to watch. In fact, uh, uh, to prepare for the interview, they gave us four episodes, and that was almost torture because four episodes in, and I cannot wait to see where this whole story is going. It's it snakes and threads, uh, and, and so far is brilliant, uh, and I'm so excited to talk with this living legend of an actor. So let's get into it. We're talking Rabbit Hole, out now on Paramount+. Plus. It's Kyle Meredith with Charles Dance. Hi, Kyle. Uh, let me throw the congratulations, Rabbit Hole. Uh, what a creative, what a fun, what a crazy story that this yeah. whole thing is developing into. Um, you know, I, I see that your character, there's a lot of paranoia that goes into it. I mean, uh, maybe maybe that's our age that we're in, the conspiracy era that seems to be turning out to. Was that part of the, uh, the the script that maybe attracted you to it? Yeah, th yes, that and certainly the quality of the writing. John and Glenn write in a particular way. Um, you know, they give us a little bit of information. They give the actors, they drip feed information the same way that the audience is being drip fed information, which is that it's 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 quite a frightening way to work, but it's also, you know, it keeps you on your toes. Um, and it, it pulls me out of my comfort zone, not knowing completely the direction a character is going to go in. You know, if I use an analogy and say, you know, well, I go down this road, what happens? Well, you turn left. Oh yeah, okay, and I turn, and what happens then? Wait till you've turned left and then we'll tell you, you know? Um, and it's, it's, it's quite a frightening way to work, but it's terrific. So, I mean, there's that, you know, the way they write, and the fact that they shimmy quite easily from comedy, for Christ's sake, you know, into an espionage thriller. But the fact that we're all living with and becoming more and more aware of the way our personal data can be taken, used for nefarious reasons, can be manipulated, you know. And I mean, the whole business of AI now, you know, I mean, years ago, I did, I voiced a character in a, an animated film, right? Um, this was in quite the early days. And the day that I went to do my contribution, Albert Finney, the late, great Albert Finney, was coming out of the studio. And he just looked at me and he said, the writing's on the wall, kid. <laughs> it's quite frightening. Now that was oh, 30 or more years ago, do you know? Um, and what we're all living with and what we're all, and I think, I think most people, um, at some point for understandable reasons, get a bit paranoid, you know, because you don't know what's happening with the information that everybody now has access to. You know, yeah. so yes, the answer to your question is eminently attractive as a proposition for an actor. 
Yeah, it's interesting. Uh, beyond that animated thing, I, I heard you in uh, in Trudy Styler's Spark Hunter podcast with Mark oh, Rylance and everything. Oh, right. Okay. Which was, you know, a lot of about that AI and, uh, and yeah. singularity. And I started thinking, like, like deep fake culture even is such a scary thing. But as as a public figure, like, may, does, do you feel that is that part of the paranoia? Um. Yeah. In short, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's a new, I mean, every, oh, for goodness sake, um, I don't know what it's like in this country, but, you know, in, in England at the moment, and I'm ashamed to say, you know, little Britain, little Britain is being you know, rapidly going down the toilet. Okay. We're in a parlous state. You can't believe what anybody says. You've got the right-wing press being unbelievably right-wing, the left-wing press doing what it can, but it's quite a quiet voice, you know? And it's the right-wing press that is shouting more and more loudly and spinning stuff, unbelievable stuff, that a lot of people, because of their circumstances, like being on the breadline, going on strike for a decent wage, have no choice but to believe the stuff that is being fed to them. You know, I mean, it's all a bit messy, Kyle, don't you think? Yeah, I absolutely do think. <laughs> That's but, but, you know, when you put it in fiction, of course, it I don't know, it takes the pressure off. And by the way, you mentioned going comedy. Seeing the way you and Kiefer play off each other, it's almost vaudevillian sometimes. <laughs> Eat your eggs. Um, yeah. I mean, I don't think I get to see you play comedy often enough. What, what's it? I don't know. Does it come as natural for you as the other as, as drama and everything else? Well, um, yeah, it does. But, you know, I, I mean, I, in, <clears throat> in this business, you are if you're seen to be doing something reasonably successfully, the odds are you'll be asked to do it again. Um, and, you know, and I. I try to um, to ring the changes as much as I can, and I try to bring humor into the worst of characters if I possibly can. Um, I haven't played comedy for a long time now, but I love doing it. Of course, there's nothing like making somebody laugh. Um, and if, so if I can find, if I can put a laugh line, a laugh line or a, a laugh reaction into a pretty horrendous character, then I'm happier. No? Yeah. Well, uh, you guys should take it out on the road, honestly. I like the way you two play off of each other. Bless you. Thank you. <laughs> um, you know, I know it's probably because, you know, pandemic and the way everything bottlenecked. But, you know, along with a series like this, I mean, in the last year, you had seven projects come out all at once. Really? Yeah. And I think about these characters, the character in Rabbit Hole, these characters all at once. I don't know. For As an actor, do you have to compartmentalize at all i mean do you bring a character like this home with you after the cameras are off no 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 uh, no i've never done that i mean i think that way madness lies and you know and it's, it'll forgive me fuck up any relationship <laughs> if you do that especially if you play some of the characters that i've played no um i, I perhaps <clears throat> perhaps not as choosy as i might be you know I mean, when you get to get to the point where you are in a position to be able to choose, um, I, 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 I mean, I'm, I'm very lucky to do a job that I love. Very lucky. There are a lot of people who just do a job, and they don't love that job, but they've got to earn money, right? Um, now, I come from despite the, my, my appearance and the way that I speak, I come from really the, the other side of the tracks, you know. My mother was a servant at the age of 13 in the East End of London, right? And I'm, I, here I am, I'm fortunate enough to be doing this job that I love. And I, I, I get, I do turn down work, but when I do, I, I, there's a bit of me that thinks, who do I think I am turning down work? There's thousands of people desperate for a job. And I'm in this very fortunate position of being offered work and I'm saying, no thanks, I don't want to do it, you know? Um, does that make sense to you? I think that's a healthy kind of thing to have, uh, honestly. Uh, it's something to keep grounded anyway. I feel that. Right. Um, 
I love what you guys are doing with Rabbit Hole. Uh, four episodes in, I cannot wait to see how this thing unfolds. I cannot wait to see how these characters develop, especially with the way you're pulling in the backstory into these characters. It's so fascinating uh, where this is going. So, uh, so thank you for taking the time to talk about it. No, oh, I'm so glad you enjoy it, Kyle. I mean, most people we've spoken to today have been as enthusiastic as you are, which is fantastic because we had a ball doing it. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. And thanks to my guest. Also, thanks to you for uh, for checking out the episode in the series. Before you get out of here, hit that subscribe button. Again, uh, you get three brand new interviews every single week. New one every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at uh, right here on YouTube or, of course, anywhere in podcast land, including iTunes, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Podchaser, NPR, or WFPK.org as well. A great way to keep up with your favorite artists and discover new ones as well. Then after that, actually head over to WFPK.org. That's where I do a show, Monday through Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern. It's an hour full of song premieres, music news, anniversary spins, bonus interviews, Monday through Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern at WFPK.org. Consequence has your music and film news. You can also find me on the social media spots, uh, Facebook, Instagram, mostly on Twitter. All three of them, the address is at Kyle Meredith. Do hope you like and follow along. That does it for another edition. I'm Kyle Meredith. I'll see you next time.